Jeff Keenan here. I'm going to show you how to use the WiseCam V3 with Blue Iris. I know um, this new V3 WiseCam is pretty impressive. You can use it indoors and outdoors. Um, it's probably one of the least expensive outdoor cameras you can use right now, but I know a lot of you, like myself, are using uh, the Blue Iris NVR software. And when I first got the, the new firmware to enable RSTP, uh, I kept trying to add it in the the blue iris would crash. I thought maybe I was going one camera over my limit. Um, you know, something else is wrong. Kept trying to add it and add it till I finally figured out that you have to disable audio. If you enable audio, it's going to crash the whole blue audio, the blue iris server. Not sure why, but uh, definitely disable the audio and then it works great. I've been using it for uh, a couple weeks now. It's uh, it's working perfectly. The RCP hasn't dropped even once, so. I think the V3 is working better than the old uh, V2s or even the 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 uh, pan tilt, uh, which I have also with the with the RCP firmware. Um, so again, I'll put some screenshots how to configure uh, Blue Iris. So here's the configuration section. Put your IP address with RSTP, and then here's my camera. It's outside. I have it cropped because there's a bush in the way and disable the audio, it should work fine. Uh, obviously you gotta flash the firmware and generate the, the URL and then just put that into Blue Iris uh, with your IP address. I'll put a link below to the WiseCam V3 if you'd like to order one. And remember to like and subscribe for more help with Wi-Fi and tech products.